hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today i am going to do a bookshelves tour for you guys because it has been requested everybody wants it so that is what we're going to do today so this is my first bookshelf and most of my fiction is on this shelf. So I have fantasy, romance, and then thriller and um, historical fiction. And then on top of here, I'll just show you the current reads. Hidden Bodies. And then Eclipse. And Here on Lake Halley. So those are the books I'm currently reading. They're not going to be in the bookshelf because they're on top of it. Then here's my other bookshelf. I have my record player on top of it. This is classics and then like Broadway musical related books. This one is all nonfiction. And then this is lit fic and children's lit. And then this is my book tree of all my TBR. And when one of the branches, I guess, gets like not as full then they put more on so i will go through that as well all right starting at my fantasy shelf we have the twilight saga these are my original twilight books so um the newest one is probably this one because it's the 10th anniversary but i have all of the twilights i have the secret life of brie tanner I have the Complete Illustrated Movie Companions and the Complete Film Archives. I have the Official Illustrated Guide and the Director's Notebook. For knickknacks over here, I have this little Harajuku singer. I have a dinosaur wearing a bow tie. I collect salt and pepper shakers, so there's going to be a lot of those in this video. And I have this little turtle that says, be happy. And then I have these little Disney characters just scattered around. I have Mickey and Bambi, and I have this ceramic owl. Then, um, on top of here, I have Six of Crows. I have Crooked Kingdom. It's somewhere else. I have the Giver Quartet. Then, in front here, I have my Touch of Darkness. Right now, it's a trilogy, but on Tuesday, the new one comes out, and I pre-ordered it. And then my Shadow and Bone trilogy is right here, but Shadow and Bone is elsewhere. This is my tiara from when I saw Anastasia, the musical. And then Tinkerbell and the Genie. And then I'm going to remove these and show you what's behind it. So behind there, I have my OG Twilight book. Like, this is the one I read in fifth grade. It's very, very beat up from being in my backpack all the time. And then I have a movie version of Breaking Dawn as well. And then I have the Hunger Games trilogy and the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. And then over here, these are more like standalone fantasy. Um, I have House in the Cerulean Sea. I love this book so much. It kind of got me back into fantasy. I'm not like a huge fantasy person, but these are all books that I enjoy. Artemis Fowl, I haven't read yet. Um, The Princess, The Princesses of Bamer and Ella Enchanted were like two of my favorite books in like fifth grade. The Girl Who Drank the Moon, The Last Quintista, and Beastly. Have not read these two, loved Beastly when I was a child. All right, next, I have my Percy Jackson series, and this is the new one, and it doesn't match, so kind of irritates me. I have a Pegasus on top, and then I have my Harry Potter series with the Cursed Child down here. It's not canon. It just kind of gets hidden because I don't like it. Um, I have this owl that kind of looks like Hedwig, and then I have a... Dumbledore card and Remus Lupin's wand and then up there I have another owl that's wearing glasses and a bow tie and then you can't really see him but I have this Harry Potter ornament that really does not stand up well so I lean it 
against the wall back there. Right, next one is my romance shelf. So um, I have like these China doll salt and pepper shakers. There's one of them. And then I have this super cute snow globe I got as a Valentine's Day gift one year. I have this cute teacup and then a doily that my aunt made. And then lighthouses appropriately placed in front of my Nicholas Sparks books. So, and then there's an owl hiding right there. So here is like my childhood romance books that I loved. I have all the Cheetah Girl bind ups. These are such a throwback. I loved these so much. And then I have the LA Candy series by Lauren Conrad and they're all the autographed ones so yeah and then um uh, right here I have 50 shades of gray trilogy and then I have hopeless losing hope I have the rest of the series elsewhere and then it ends with us it starts with us and then I have the summer I turn pretty trilogy and to all the boys I've loved before trilogy and then piglets right here and Winnie the Pooh's right here under Piglet, I have my two Amy E. Reichert books. I have The Coincidence of Coconut Cake, which I loved, and I have Once Upon a December, which I have not read yet. Then we have my huge collection of Nicholas Sparks books. I have The Rescue, The Lucky One, The Best of Me. I've read all of those. The Notebook, I've read. Have not read At First Sight, and I have not read every breath yet and then here's more nicholas sparks i've read dear john the last song is my favorite one the wedding was super good that's like my second favorite safe haven which i've read all of these two by two i have not read and this is actually a signed arc of two by two and then true believer and a bend in the road which i have not read yet either um, over here, I have some standalone romances. I have Rapture's Gold. Um, I told the story about this book in my January wrap-up video. It is one of those, like, smutty, uh, mass market paperbacks from the 80s. Literally was out of print by, like, 1988. So, yeah. Then I have Don't Want To, Like, A Best Friend. I just got seven days in June I have read and I'm sorry I don't get the hype I have confessions of a shopaholic which I have not read tell me three things that's a super cute book highly suspicious and unfairly cute haven't read yet every day haven't read yet the men and the girls haven't read yet the Patchwork Bride, I have not read yet. And Love Times Infinity, I have not read yet. And then I have all of my Emily Henry books. Betrayed, Book Lovers, and Happy Place. I've only read Happy Place, and it was like a three star for me. And then I have my John Green books, An Abundance of Catherines, which is my least favorite Loved Looking for Alaska. Paper Towns was okay, but The Fault in Our Stars, I've read like six times. My book is so beat up, but I love it. And then I have my Taylor Jenkins Read books. My goal is to get all of Taylor Jenkins Read books. One True Loves is one of my favorite books of all time. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, After I Do, Forever Interrupted, and Daisy Jones and The Six. Now coming down to the bottom, this half of the shelf is thrillers and then this is historical fiction. So I will do thrillers first. Most of these are in red. I have Eeyore and Winnie the Pooh salt and pepper shakers as well as Jack and Gus salt and pepper shakers. Never Lie by Frieda McFadden. Edited out. Then I have some cozy mysteries. I went to a cozy mystery con last weekend and I got these books and they are signed. So Carleen O'Connor signed Murder in an Irish Village. I got one poison pie. The author could not make it though. So, but I'm excited to read that. And then I have Harlan Coben Gone for Good. And then Room and 
baby teeth. I have not read a single book that I just showed you in that pile. All right, up here, this is just the little thing they gave us at the Cozy Con, and it like goes through some of the books that were featured there. And then I have Fresh Brood Murder, which I just got from it as well, and it is signed by Emily Duncan. And then this one, I also got Mugshots of Manhattan. Did not know this was the second one in the series, but it is signed. And then I have The Stranded. Have not read all the ones in this stack I haven't read. The Housemaid, I'm excited to read that. Promise Not to Tell, haven't read. The Impossible Fairy Tale, have not read. Not Happy Family, or Not a Happy Family, Bring Me Back, The Vanishing Bride, Shutter Island, and House of Leaves, which I'm terrified of these two. And then these are all the thrillers I have read. Woman in the Window, Verity, Then She Was Gone, Lovely Bones, Where the Crawdads Sing, and Too Late. All right, then I have like this little bear statue that is my husband's just a little bear working with a daddy bear really cute this button was given to me by carlene o'connor um for buying her book and then i have a little cat in the hat mini snow globe that my friend got me this is the other salt and pepper shaker and then there's gus and Pooh. and then i have a um that brand they sell at TJ Maxx. Ray Dunn, um, teacher snow globe. And then I have these salt and pepper shakers. They're magnetic and aerial. And then this is a vintage Mickey bank, which is really, really cool. So for historical fiction, I have the nightingale on top and then a constellation of vital phenomena the Poisonwood Bible, the Librarian of Auschwitz, or the Auschwitz Librarian, um, the Thirteenth Tale, the Higher Girl, the Alienist, and When We Were Yours, those are all unread. These are all the red ones. A Thousand Splendid Sons, my favorite book of all time, so good. Kite Runner, The Tattooist of Auschwitz, The Book Thief, and Escaping the Holocaust. All right, here is the next shelf. All right, here's my classic. So this stack is mostly like children's classics with the exception of one. All right, Howl's Moving Castle. I have not read this, but this is like my husband's favorite movie. So he bought me the book and I haven't read it yet. The Secret Garden. I have not read, but this was one of my favorite movies as a child, so I want to read it. My favorite book as a child ever was Matilda. This is my copy from when I was a kid. It is like falling apart. There's a chunk missing right there. It's been very loved. Yes, I loved Roald Dahl, so I also had James and the Giant Peach. The Witches, and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and the BFG. And then I have this Matilda cover from the musical adaptation. And then here is a random one that is not children's. It's The Curious Case of Benjamin Button and other jazz age stories. And then I have When We Were Very Young by A.J. Milne, or what? Well, you know. And then the guy who writes Winnie the Pooh, A.A. A. Milne. And then The Little Prince. And I have this dog. He's part of a salt and pepper shaker set. And I have a little mini Marie. Super cute. All right, back here, I have the entire bind up of Narnia, and the only one I've read is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Pride and Prejudice, just read. Little Women, 
have not read, want to get to it this year, have another version of Little Women and another version of Pride and Prejudice up here. This is Alice in Wonderland, The Silver Chalice, The Wizard of Oz, and Great Expectations. I've only read Pride and Prejudice. Then up here I have Jane Eyre, Heidi, Peter Pan, Emma, and The Great Gatsby. Only one I only ones I've read are Pride and Prejudice and The Great Gatsby out of that stack. Right, next is all ones that have to do with like Broadway musicals. I have The Rabbit, I think from Winnie the Pooh. I don't know who this is supposed to be. Kind of looks like Chippendale, but like bunny ear Chippendale. Not sure, but little Marie goes up here. Okay. I have this like little New York trinket box and inside has like a little apple, which is super cute. And then this is a little Shakespeare book that I got when I went to the Kennedy Center. And it has a little quotes by Shakespeare in it. And then this teacup says life is beautiful holds all of my bookmarks and stuff if I want to annotate I don't usually annotate because it takes so long um yeah but I have this one that I just got it's really pretty so yes um and then that is my lucky rubber duck from when I was in a show um and we got those on opening night and then I have a burn book journal right here all right, I have the Broadway musical quiz book that I got at the Kennedy Center. My Ron Chierno Hamilton, which took me the entire year of 2020 to finish because I like annotated it. I was looking up things like this took me forever. Alex and Eliza, my dear Hamilton, and then Alexander Hamilton's Guide to Life. And then I have Inspiring Stories That Make a Difference, which was a Come From Away book. I have You Will Be Found in Dear Evan Hansen. I have not read those. I have not read these. I have A Little Bit Wicked by Kristen Chenoweth, which I have read. I have Wicked, which I actually have not read. Homework by Julie Andrews, which I have read. And then My Name is Barbara is humongous. I want to read it. It's a little intimidating how big it is. And then Brunette Ambition by Lee Michelle, which I have read. And then behind here... I have the Complete Works of William Shakespeare, Volumes 1 and 2. I got these from my mom. They're like really, really old Shakespeare books. And then I have all the librettos and scripts from shows I was either in or worked on or like researched. So I have Sweeney Todd, which I was in. I have The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night Time, which I researched. Tartuffe, which I was in. 39 Steps, I was in. Cinderella, I researched. Dear Evan Hansen, I researched. And then the two Heinrich Ibsen ones, Dollhouse and Ghosts, I researched. And then I was in Sleeping Beauty. And then these are all my coffee table books. Rent, Dear Evan Hansen, The Great Comet, Come From Away, Phantom, Wicked, and Hamilton. All right, nonfiction shelf. I don't know what this statue is. My brother gets me things as gag gifts, and this is like a thinking man. So, I don't know. Um, I have a llama with glasses on, a little wishing bottle. Um, I have this Buddha that is like super duper old. I have this like teapot, paperweight, pet mom. I have a wine glass from when I turned... 21. I have the other dog up there and then these little bunnies I got when I went to Nashville and I went to like this little cute like gift shop thing. So over here my husband's Marvel Encyclopedia and Apollo's Expedition to the Moon is over here and then I have celebrity memoirs that I would like to get to this year. So I have The Woman in Me becoming sounds like me the good neighbor and educated and then on top these are just little cutesy books that i've gotten as gifts it's happy bunny love bites i love you with all my butt this is like funny kid artwork things kids say that's funny and then looking for love i've had this forever and then how to speak emoji those are just fun little books, like novelties. And then these are all the memoirs I have read. Um, or like just nonfiction books I've read, I guess. Tuesdays with Maury, highly recommend. Adulting, highly recommend if you 
our senior in high school going to college adultish same thing wild by cheryl strayed one of my favorite books of all time hope in front of me signed by nanny goki mary poppins she wrote was the first biography i willingly read like on my own and i loved it and then becoming dr seuss was also really good but my favorite memoir i do not own and i will own someday and that is i'm glad my mom died that was so good that and wild were like really really good then i've hidden figures heaven is for real hearts of fire haven't read any of those becoming rgb or rbg this is ruth bader ginsburg's life as a graphic novel so i'm really excited to read that i thought that was like super duper fun of lauren conrad style like coffee table book i have the lady gaga stories of kindness and community and then i have this beautiful book from tiffany's that i just love and then the Giving Tree, I have this poetry book from one of my college classmates. Pied Poetry is signed by the author. And then I have the 365 Days of Wonder with all the quotes in it. Then over here, I have all of my poetry and like quote books. So I have like the Girl's Book of Wisdom, The World According to Mr. Rogers, Good Morning, Good Night by Lynn Manuel Miranda. Highly recommend. Adult Lessons, Winter Roses, After Fall, Milk and Honey, The Sun and Her Flowers, Pillow Thoughts, Pillow Thoughts 2, The Complete Poems and Stories of Edgar Allan Poe, and then this series. So I've read all of these, except obviously not all of Edgar Allan Poe. Haven't read Winter Roses, After Fall, but everything else over here I have actually read. All right, this is the most chaotic shelf. Um, so I have all of my like middle grade fiction, which I love. This is a little um, tea set that is actually from China, which is really cool. So I have all my Alan Gratz books, Refugee, Two Degrees, Ground Zero, and Ban This Book. Um, I've only read Refugee, and then I have this duology by Sharon M. Draper. I hope there's more than one, but there's Out of My Mind, Out of My Heart. Absolutely loved these books. And then my favorite middle grade book of all time is Wonder, and I have Wonder, Augie, Me, and then White Bird. Okay, seriously, like, I don't like graphic novels that much, and White Bird, so good. I cried every time I've read it because I did a whole, like, lesson based off of it for one of my college courses all right then in front of here i have the click which was mine in middle school and so was the pretty community strikes back i have stargazing which i've read it's a really good graphic novel and then i have this trilogy of graphic novels that i have not read yet but i really want to because i've heard good things about it um another one of my favorite books of all time is the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime i have the good girl airhead loved this in middle school monster gossamer flipped jawbreaker falling short hatchet a wish in the dark holes other words from home bud not buddy and full cicada moon i have read these and then holes in hatchet and that's it that is all of the middle grade fiction and then i just have another teacher snow globe over here and this is all literary fiction. So I have The Perks of Being a Wallflower, Little Fires Everywhere, A Little Life, Eliza and Her Monsters, Before I Fall, If I Stay, Where She Went, A Little Life's the only one I haven't read. And then in front of here, I have The Thing About Jellyfish, Man Called Uva, one of my favorite books of all time, Me, Earl, Me and Earl and the Dying Girl, and then The Hate You Give and Concrete Rose. The Hate You Give is one of my favorite books of all time as well. And then I have... My grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry. Haven't read that yet. Julie and Julia. My mom really liked that book when I was growing up. The Help. I have not read the book. I've seen the movie. Gray. Haven't read. Early Departures. Fangirl. Cost of Knowing. And then My Year of Rest and Relaxation, which I also have not read. So most of this shelf I actually have read. 
a good chunk of it so all right we are almost done here's the book tree of all my tbr books so this is historical fiction firefly lane sarah's key and and the mountains echoed and then lit fic i have 19 minutes and when we were Mer when we believed in mermaids then i have some thrillers i have the silent wife lock the doors the murder game gone girl the last miss parish and behind closed doors all of those are tbr this is fantasy there's shadow and bone and then the first land of stories and night circus and then where you left me so this is technically like a memoir but it's like a 9-11 romance memoir and then i have a thousand boy kisses and then here is the tbr for march crooked kingdom the playlist silent patient finding cinderella and the truth about melody brown and then here's the rest of the hopeless series finding perfect and all your perfects and then things we never got over and better than the movies and then in this box i have books from my childhood that just mean a lot to me so i have like this amelia's notebook i have like these are just all books that my grandpa bought for me or he would read with me so all childhood favorites like there's a boy in the girl's bathroom some ramona some cam jansen these are like joke books and then church choir mysteries the unsuitable suitor which i just remember reading with my grandpa when i was younger and then my bella sarah cards are in there too office on my taylor swift shelf i have all my taylor swift books and magazines and then under my desk i have all of my teacher books that i actually ended up keeping and this book has stuck with me to this day the reason i jump and it's like questions and misconceptions about autism answered by an autistic child and i love it and it's so good and everyone should read that and then these are all bins of children's books so yeah last but not least i also have the twilight white editions and i just keep them here until i get a new bookshelf and i can do like a whole twilight shelf because i got these for valentine's day from my husband and i love them so much anyway that is my tour of my bookshelves i hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching this video stay beautiful bye